Hi guys, I'm John Ryans, I'm the art director here at ISC, controlling all the designs that come through this art room. So one of the biggest challenges we faced and one of the biggest considerations we had is we didn't want to create outfits that look like children's costumes. We had to create uniforms which, which were befitting of the elite sporting teams that we made the uniforms for. We also had to consider we had to keep all different parties happy, both from the clubs to Marvel and of course to ourselves. So we analysed the key attributes of each of our superhero characters and picked out what were the main points that we needed to include on the garment. So looking at Captain America, the obvious thing straight up was the star. We needed to find a way that that would fit on the garment and still represent Captain America hero. With Hulk, obviously we needed to display his huge size on the garment. So with the Wolverine character, with the colours not being synonymous with the Manly Seagulls team, we had to try and find a way of tying the design in to look like the club itself. We decided to add the slash across the chest so everyone instantly recognised the character as being Wolverine itself. The challenge with Thor was trying to get all the attributes as in the discs to fit on the character without interrupting with any of the logos that fit on there. With the Iron Man character, was trying to find the suit that was most recognisable to the, to the fans of rugby league as well as the Marvel fans themselves. So once we had the designs approved on screen, now the biggest challenge was making the jerseys look like the approved designs. We had to work a lot with our supplier in Fiji to make sure we got everything right. So once we were happy with how everything looked, we had to get full kits made up to get them approved to ready to go to production. We had no idea at this point how popular this program was going to be. Our first estimations were based around 10,000. In the end, we ended up producing over double of that. So the next thing we had to do is work out how to promote this program to get it out to as many people as possible. We decided the best avenue to go down was to promote it as though it was a movie itself, like the Marvel heroes we were portraying. We had all five players come into the studio on one day, which was no small challenge in itself. The whole shoot took 14 hours in total. All the guys were great sports and we think we got a great result out of it in the end. So the response to the program has absolutely blown us away. We've had feedback from all around the world that's tell us how successful it's been. On the game day, the fans turned up in their thousands to watch all wearing the jerseys. So after all the hard work and effort we've put in, we've been absolutely blown away by the result in the end. 